We've been talking about the Chinese land purchases in America. A lot of states want to block them because of security concerns. Then there's the national security threat from the Chinese spy balloon shot down in February off the South Carolina coast. According to a new report, the Chinese Communist Party was still able to spy on sensitive military sites in real time, even though the United States did eventually shoot that balloon down. That includes Malmstrom, Malmstrom excuse me, Air Force Base in Montana, where nuclear assets are stored. White House correspondent Allison Harris has more on this story. Allison, this is concerning. It certainly is, Mitch and Adrian. New reporting details the figure eight formations that the Chinese spy balloon did while flying over the U.S., sending Beijing sensitive information in real time. Now, the reporting is not independently confirmed by News Nation, but it states that the balloon gathered intelligence from several U.S. military sites, you named one of them, and that it could have gathered more if the U.S. did not scramble to obscure the balloon's ability to pick up that information. National Security Spokesperson Admiral John Kirby says he won't get ahead of analysis that's being done on the parts of the balloon that were able to be recovered after it was shot down over the Carolina coast. But he did tell our Elizabeth Vargas this. We're still we're still exploiting and looking at and analyzing the material from that spy balloon that we pulled up off the bottom of the ocean. And I don't want to get ahead of that analysis. Uh, we but we did uh, while that thing flew over the country. We exploited on it. We studied it. We analyzed it. Uh, and we're confident uh, because we knew where it was going. Uh, we were confident that uh, it didn't uh, discover anything really additive uh, to what they could have gotten from other intelligence sources. Again, we're going to learn more as we continue to analyze uh, uh, that that balloon and the debris, uh, but we're, we're comfortable and we're confident that we took appropriate steps uh, to minimize any additive value, intelligence value that, that, that the Chinese could have gotten off of it. Some of what he's saying there, that there wasn't any additive value that China was able to get from the uh, from hovering over the U.S. is what we have heard from the White House since we first learned about this. Now, China maintains this was a weather balloon and that the U.S. massively blew this out of proportion by shooting it down. Now, remember, this balloon entered U.S. airspace back on January 28th over Alaska. Then it floated over Canada, then Montana, finally over the coast of the Carolinas. The world first learned about this through news reports. Now Kirby is reiterating this clearly was not a weather balloon. Uh, we've, he, they've said that for a long time. But now we know from this new reporting that it could maneuver and it did loiter. But the Biden administration maintaining that it took great steps to avoid this spy balloon gathering any real U.S. intelligence. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.